Hey guys, so today's video is about being a child and having people know you for the art that you're making before you're even an adult. But before we get started, I did want to mention that today's sponsor is Pathwater. I recently had the pleasure of sitting down with Anthony Rosenthal, one of the actors from the hit Broadway revival, Falsettos. My girlfriend Jordan and I are massive fans of the show, so we were incredibly excited to get to sit down and talk to him. This is a kid who has acted with some of the best performers on Broadway, and he hasn't barely hit his teens. It's absolutely crazy. Now, what I wanted to do was really dig in and talk to him about what it feels like to have people know who he is for the, all the shows he's done, but he himself barely even knows who he is because he hasn't even finished going through puberty. I can't really fully relate to the situation, but my way of empathizing with it is remembering what it felt like when I was 11 years old making YouTube videos. When I went to VidCon, even back then, people still recognized me. Anthony and I linked up when I was in New York City with my girlfriend Jordan on vacation, and this is what happened. Jordan, you made a horrible choice. This is what I'm interviewing Anthony Rosenthal in, one of the stars of the hit musical, Falsettos. He's a kid. Yeah, that's true. He's a kid. <laughs> okay, Anthony is here. Hey, Anthony, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. They only had the adult size bun, so it might be a bit like a dress. Okay. Hi, everybody. This is uh, Anthony. Hey! <laughs> what was the first job that you ever did, like an acting role? It was in Oliver at the Fifth Avenue Theater in Seattle. Well, how old were you? Uh, nine. It was a big deal at the time. When you start doing something that people recognize you from before you are fully an adult, yeah. like before you are who you're going to end up being, because I yeah. started YouTube when I was 11. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just watching other uh -huh. YouTubers and trying to figure out something that would work. People have watched me grow up online. Then it's just a very weird thing where you have to interact with people that know, that like know you, but uh -huh. they don't. So like, especially on the internet, everything you're doing is recorded and everyone mm -hmm. knows you from it like right away. Yeah. So in the future, when you look back on it and you regret it, mm -hmm. like people are still like, associating with you in a way. H have you had any experiences like that where you feel like someone has like maybe a preconceived notion about you based on th the stuff that you've done? Or yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, originally I came across as like this over the top, like, yeah, what's <laughs> up guys? It was so exciting. And then recently I was like, no, I don't want to do that. And I started being very sarcastic and mm -hmm. very like, yeah, <laughs> like society. <laughs> Capitalism. Society. <laughs> but maybe now people don't get that. I also am also energetic sometimes. Yeah. It's kind of like impossible to be yourself online, especially since people like see you and they establish a character from it. During a lot of times you don't know what you're doing. You're just yeah. kind of- Just going with whatever you can figure out how to do. Someone can do one thing and people know them for that one thing yes. and anything else that they do is kind of disregarded or pushed to the side. Bo Burnham. Bo Burnham, Bo Burnham. exactly. Oh, oh my gosh, I love Bo Burnham. <laughs> He's kind of like, like kind of the dream career. He's not a household name, but he's still like recognizable and he's like very aware of everything he does. And he has enough pull to actually be able to have people see his things. Uh -huh. Everyone that's a Bo Burnham fan is gonna watch eighth grade. Uh -huh. Hi, my name is Bobby and I love movies and yeah, I watched the, the eighth grade and it was fucking amazing. It was so good. You and I mean? he's always been great, but he's still been evolving. Yeah. What is it like, like right now? We've met each other on the internet and this yes. is the first time we've ever actually interacted. Yeah. What did you think of me based off my internet persona Ooh. versus when, you, when you're actually meeting me right now? I mean, I don't, I, I, I feel like I'm not like that like surprised mm -hmm. too much. Like you're very like nice and very <laughs> warm right now and very like welcoming. Yeah. You have like a lot of videos where you're like capitalism. <laughs> More so, clever than that, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Like I love yeah, your yeah. videos. Like it's an honor to be here. But um, <laughs> being yourself on the internet is one thing, but then meeting people who have know you from the internet is another thing because everything I've said about me being very like, hi guys, that is me when I'm meeting people. Like yeah. like everything where I try to like not be that on the internet is like street always like pushed aside when I meet people. Trying to be nice to people. Yeah. You know, very like, oh my <laughs> gosh, like so nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily like fake, but yeah. it exact like very exaggerated. And you're wondering like how much how much small talk do I like make? Do you wanna like seem like that like jerk who's like hi, bye? I was in LA for two months lately and I've been recognized maybe like four times, mm -hmm. which isn't bad. And it's been happening at very specific places too, like Disneyland or whatever. Yeah. Here it happens a bit more, but not too much. Times Square, it happens quite a bit. It's insane when it's like at a Broadway. 
Oh. Oh, I can't remember. Because something I've actually been learning like very recently at those events, it is like important to have more security. But then you see other people who are like just out and about, and you're like, oh, but like they're doing it. Yeah. It's so like, like what, how do you? You seem like a diva in a way. I got yeah. recognized a lot at Playlist Live in DC, hmm. and I'm not even a YouTuber. When I was doing falsettos, I, I did have a lot of friends, yeah. but I didn't necessarily have like like a specific group of friends like my age. It is like very difficult and distancing. And for for musicals especially, when it's every day except one usually. For, for musicals, the one day is Monday, and my friend still went to school on Monday. Uh, how old were you again when you started? You said you were eight? Um, Whatever you did th that, that uh, nine, yeah. Oh, you've been working in like auditioning and stuff since then? I mean, in New York, it's not like as rapid fire as LA. I went on the Newsies tour, which was like 10 months. Mm -hmm. Jesus. So that was, Whoa. yeah. Wait, you were like uh, 10, I was, 11? I started 10. Jesus, that is so, so it much, was, dude. It was, it was a, it was a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very, um, Yeah, I, I was I was thinking and my subconscious said it's very um I have nothing to, to continue with. Um thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing oh, this. Of course. Man. Oh my gosh, it was such a pleasure. So yeah. That's Anthony. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you so much for checking it out. You can hit me up on Twitter at the Bobby Burns and Instagram at the Bobby Burns. The link to my Patreon and PO box and everything are down in the description. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified when my new videos go up and I'll see you Friday.